me introduce you to my world here on the top floor of the Alpha 10 building in Dubai. This is my office and uh, where I spend a lot of my time. My first job role, one I'm very proud of, it was before I ever joined the automotive industry, or well, kind of, I was a bread man. I used to drive a bread van and stand outdoor markets in the north of England, and I love that job. Well, important decisions seem to come to you every day, and uh, they seem to cover you know, strategic questions or strategic issues. Uh, we often have allocation of resources um, issues, but the most important decisions that you make as a leader about which people that you employ. But the one that stands out for me uh, to be the most important is respect for people. With the pace I live at, it'd be really nice to have lunch with my wife. Um, but I suppose that's not the answer you're really looking for. And I think one of the most impressive people I'd like to have lunch with I'm afraid he's dead, but it would be John F. Kennedy. And I'm lucky enough to have his pen. Somebody gave me a, a John F. Kennedy commemorative pen, and it's my prized possession. But I think his vision really steered the nation, so I'd like to have lunch with John F. Kennedy. Well, now I get into some of the things that I don't know. I could trade places with one person for a week. It'd be Lewis Hamilton at the Formula One race in Monte Carlo for a whole week. I think that's what I really want. I've lived all over the world, driven lots of fast cars, lived a pretty fast life, so getting to 60, I think, is my most major accomplishment. I don't have any. People talk about regrets, they're just learnings. Don't regret it. Can we grow together? So. When Len's gone, someday I want somebody to turn around and say, well, what was his legacy? Well, he used to believe in, can we grow together? Yes, we can.